सो वेल दिस वॉज द बॉक्स विच केम लास्ट वीक एंड अब टाइम नहीं वेस्ट करते हैं इसको करते हैं पहले अनबॉक्स Well, that was a quick unboxing of these bad boys. Yes, finally, I have semi-soft or semi-hard, whatever you call them, panniers, or you can say a nice luggage system for my Interceptor 650. So I was always curious to know that, ऐसे कौन से saddle bags हैं जो मेरे Interceptor 650 को complement करेंगे या GT 650 को complement करेंगे? So Rhinox का 2.1 Nomad bag is actually perfect for Interceptor 650. Well, during my M2K ride, I noticed that Sidant was using the same set for his Himalayan. Now that I have an interceptor which has the upswept exhaust system, I should try this on my bike too. Well, the best part is that these bags are sleek yet with a decent storage of 25 liters on each side. Post extending, it reaches 32 liters. The constructed material is of 1,680 Daniels polyester fabric, which is quite rigid for its standard. My first look went on the quick access at the bottle holder or chain loop pocket, whatever you use it for. The straps are of very good quality and there are three mounting straps with quick release buckles also. One side pocket on each bag allows you to have things for a quick access such as documents, snacks or basic essentials. The bag extension with YKK zips are easy to use and as you can see it extends the bag approximately 2 inches for any additional shopping one does during the ride. Most important thing for any rider is to balance the weight equally in both the saddle bags. and that's the reason the extension only opens up to 2 inches so that your ride is safe and smooth the handle grips are rubberized and decent also the buckles are easy to use which allows you to use the main compartment the main compartment has a pvc red color material for visibility and does feel like it is kind of water resistant and here we go rain cover for the saddles made of decent rubberized material Well, the challenge is that the rain cover protects the front part and around 80% of the internal part facing the tire. But honestly, when this same was used for our Mumbai Kanya Kumari ride, the water did not seep in as we added another PVC material towards the inside. But for rain riding, one must be alert about this specific feature. Well, the bag also comes with three mounting straps: two for front, one for rear, with quick release buckles. straps tightened with double d rings and also there are two center bridges for which you can adjust as per your rear seat yes you do get a shoulder strap to carry these bags which is convenient enough the storage is decent and one can easily do a round about trip for 15 days or so depending upon riders clothes preferences the hard fiber below is decent to maintain the shape of the bag however if it does come with an opposite side impact like an accident In a close encounter with another vehicle, one might have to restitch the tone side. Just to quickly show you the height of the bag, I thought I'll throw in a pillow to give an idea. So make sure you adjust the main velcro straps as per your motorcycle rear seat frame. I prefer the bags to be attached in advance and then I load my goods so that all you have to do is throw them on the motorcycle. Well, the straps adjustment just took me 5 minutes, nearly 5 minutes. Well, now you have a choice. Either to pass the straps from below your seat or above. as i do not have saddle stays and that's the reason i prefer it to just dump it like a horse saddle and yes it is easy to remove too as you can clearly see the clearance i'm getting post insulation is decent but we'll get a better idea once i hit the highways the best part is that interceptor has a grab rail near the shocks area basically to put the bike on the main stand which keeps the bags away from the left side also acts as a safeguard to secure it So what I'm planning to do is add another grab rail on the right side of my motorcycle to make sure that the saddles are integrated. But if you don't want all this hustle and planning a very long ride for a lot of days, make sure you get yourself a couple of saddle stays available in the market. Now let's quickly add the rain cover which actually took me 5 minutes to install. Straps are decent and very easy to operate on the D-rings, but I will just use a bungee cord out of habit, as I always carry them during my long rides. Rhinox Gear website and product details will be mentioned in my description for your reference. The best part about saddle bags is that you can add more luggage on your rear seat, because as per me, long rides should be done with three bags on a motorcycle. Now let's quickly address the pillion situation. Well, it does not quite support on the interceptor. but was not an issue on the himalayan and other bikes as per other riders who own such bags if i lose the straps then it's fine but that could be done in emergencies only i would not recommend that well the exterior part has 3m reflective sequences which adds a decent visibility for night riding and the base area gets these nice thick plastic pegs 
Okay, so I've reached home and I hope you guys like this video and any questions regarding the Nomad bag uh, mentioned down below the details will be in the description. I hope you guys like this video and as usual friends eat well sleep well be good signing off ride with Raj.